Today, a day of remembrance for the four lives cut short two years ago in the deadly mass shooting at Oxford High School. Emotions, of course, running high in Oxford as the community is continuing to mourn their collective losses. They will be sharing a moment of silence honoring the memory of all who were impacted. Tate Near, Madison Baldwin, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling, all killed in the violence. Seven other people were also injured. 7 Action News reporter Kira Hay joining us live from Oxford this morning with how the community will come together today and why families say they still haven't had a proper chance to heal, Kira. Yeah, we know it's going to be a long healing process for many people in this community, but driving into Oxford today, we saw a lot of the Oxford strong signs, many businesses having luminaries in their window to show support and solidarity. And also as a community and anyone else who wants to show support, they're asking for everyone to take a moment of silence today at 1251. It haunts me for most of the month of November um, coming up to it, and it's definitely a time that is harder for our family. How much healing have you been able to do? None. It, it's, it's a never ending nightmare and cycle. Every time we feel like we get about five steps ahead, we get knocked back about 10. Nicole Bolsier's daughter, Madison Baldwin, was one of four teens killed inside of Oxford High School two years ago today. Grief and guilt also expressed by survivors Tuesday night during a school board meeting. November 30th plagues me. It eats away at my very existence. Every day I wake up and I think of hearing gunshots in the hallway that I used to play with with my friends in and learn in. I am changed forever as a person. I am scared to go to college. I am scared to have kids someday for fear that when I drop them off, it could be the last time I ever see them before they die. Today, the Oxford Public Schools are closed for Wildcats Day of Remembrance. Mental health services will be made available through the district and through the All for Oxford Resiliency Center. Services Beausoleil sees as essential as the community tries to move forward together. I definitely am going to advocate more for mental health um, within the school districts, within the communities, um, all different aspects. The All for Oxford Resiliency Center has extended hours today. They're going to be open from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m., offering group and individual counseling sessions. There's going to be therapy dogs there, yoga sessions, art and crafts. They just want the community to come together because they know today is going to be a very challenging day. So we'll have their location posted for you on our website at WXYZ.com. Live in Oxford, I'm Kiara Hay, 7 Action. And those services are so important on a day like this with everybody hurting and on this day. Thank you, Kira. You can stay with 7 Action News as we continue to follow the court dates of the shooter and the shooter's parents. We'll have it on air and online as well as all of today's remembrance events and resources for the community on WXYZ.com.